Do you have an autoimmune condition? If you do, molecular mimicry is a very important concept to understand. It is one of the most common mechanisms that induces and worsens autoimmunity, and it happens uh, from chemicals, food proteins, or infections. And the structure of all those proteins can actually activate your immune response and confuse your immune system into trying to fight whatever the trigger is, that chemical, that food, that infection, and also can induce the destruction of your own tissue. So with each autoimmune condition, there are different types of triggers. I always like to use Hashimoto's thyroiditis as a good example. It's a type of autoimmune uh, hypothyroidism. The molecular mimickers that we know of from research uh, are things like gluten, sorry guys, uh, BPA from cans and plastics. Those proteins can look really similar to the thyroid tissue and your immune system can react to them when you're exposed to them and start that destruction of your thyroid gland. Another big trigger infection wise that can induce that thyroid response is Helobacter pylori or H. pylori infections which brings up a really important point with autoimmune illness is investigating silent infections. They can actually be a huge driver of autoimmunity in your body. So that Helobacter pylori does the same thing that the food proteins and the chemical exposures can do in Hashimoto's patients. It can actually worsen the destruction of your thyroid just by having that in your gut. So, oftentimes investigating with in-depth testing can be really useful in putting those immune disorders into remission because you can really find what kind of triggers may be impacting you because everyone is a bio-individual person, different genetics, living in different places with different lifestyles. So we have to kind of investigate those things to try and reduce those triggers and lessen your autoimmunity.